supercharger Garmin, whenever you seen that in the video title, you probably thought I was smoking a little something. But hear me out and I think I can help your fishing. So as you all know, live sonar has taken over the fishing world. I mean, everybody from local tournament studs all the way up to the elite pros is running some form of live imaging on their boat. In fact, all three major brands have some of electronics, have some form of live sonar out. But what these companies are failing to tell you is how much electricity and power it takes to run these units efficiently. When I first got Garmin, and I've had LiveScope since LiveScope first come out, um, I connected it to my cranking battery just like everybody else. And the images were uh, okay at best. Um, couldn't really see your bait too far out. You really couldn't see your bait too, too deep under the boat. Um, and I hunted for a change. I, I knew it could be better. So I went through every setting in that Garmin. I talked to 50 different guys about settings and I got it to where I thought it was the best it was gonna get. Until I stumbled upon this Lithium Outdoor Company brand, Amped Outdoors. And they made a battery that put out more than 12 volts. And I was intrigued by this. So I did a little research, you know, Google like everybody else does. And found out that my Garmin head unit could handle up to 18 volts like all other brands, Hummingbird Lowrance, all of them can. And the GLS-10 box, which is that sonar module that you have to use for the live scope, can handle up to 32 volts. So I bit the bullet, I bought the battery, connected it up, and from my cranking battery, when I had my Garmin on my cranking battery, I was only seeing 11.4 to around 12.1 volts. And that's pretty consistent across the board that I've seen when you run LiveScope off your cranking battery. But when I connected my Garmin to my lithium amped outdoors battery, I was seeing 16.8 volts to my front unit. And when I first flipped that thing on, it was like a world of difference. It's literally like that Garmin was on crack. I mean, everything was crisper. I could see my bait farther. I could see my bait deeper. It really made that Garmin come alive. And ever since then, when people hop on my boat, they're like, dude, how is that so much cleaner? How is that so much crisper than mine? And my best answer for them is voltage. These units need power. They need electricity. They need a good, strong, clean power source in, er in order to run efficiently. And the Amped Outdoors battery is just the best solution. It's small. It only weighs under eight pounds. I want to post a picture of it up here somewhere on the screen, blah, blah, somewhere. But it's a small battery. It doesn't weigh much. Um, doesn't take up a lot of room in the back. I run, and there is a right way to mount one. I run a straight 10 gauge wire to the front connected to that battery. And I will do a video on how to mount it. But when you do that, it literally makes your Garmin come alive. And everybody that I have talked to that's bought the battery, they say the same thing. It really, really improves your fishing. And I'm not the type of guy that's gonna sit here and rant all about this. I, I wanna show you. So what I done was, is I went out here in the deep, just way out away from the bank, and I did a bait in front of the boat. I need a bait under the boat. And the bait that I used was this little three inch Demiki Armor Shad on a 3 8 ounce head. And the reason why I wanted to do that is it would really show you what this unit is capable of. So I threw the bait out and I've got uh, the Active Captain app. So you're gonna see this here in just a second. Um, I was able to see that little three inch bait all the way out there at 70 feet. That is crazy. When I dropped the bait under the boat, I watched the bait fall all the way to the bottom in almost 90 feet of water. That's almost three times deeper than you would ever need to see a bait fishing. So I'm gonna put those videos up now.
as you can see, you really see that bait way out there and way deep. So, if you're still not convinced, I'm sitting on a school of fish out here, right off this point. I'm gonna go out here and drop on a few and see if I can't put one in a boat for you. But hey, go check them out, amptheoutdoors.com. If you have any questions about my battery, the setup, anything, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll get to them. Hey, let's go catch us a fish. Heck yeah. Jump on that little rascal. Come here, old pal. <laughs> Absolute beautiful smallmouth. Beautiful fish, fat, healthy. Let's get her back. If you're still on the fence about running an Amped Outdoors battery for your live scope or any other form of live sonar, ask yourself this. So, in a tournament, if you can catch one or two more fish, because you've seen your bait deeper and you've seen your bait farther out, is that worth it? And every single time that I ask myself that question, yes, it's 100% worth it. So go check them out, ampedoutdoors.com. Peace out.